okay now, now this problem is again from the Doppler effect are related to the Doppler effect so let us read what the problem says so the problem says a sonic source of frequency 272 hertz so frequency of source is given so let us write here so frequency of source n naught is 272 hertz some books write nu naught so let us put it nu naught is equals to 272 hertz now this is related to wave now <coughs> is moving along a horizontal circle of radius 3 meter with a speed of 10 meter per second so this is moving in a horizontal circle so source is moving in a horizontal circle so let us say this is the horizontal circle in which the source is moving the radius of this circle is so radius is given is 3 meter a speed of the part kilo or a speed of the source is given this is 10 meter per second the speed of the source is also given a stationary observer receives a stationary receiver lies in the same plane at a distance d is equals to 5 meter from the center of the circle so this is the center of circle from here at 5 meter distance there is a stationary observer and this observer also lies in the same plane so this means this vertical circle this horizontal circle and this in the same plane now the speed of sound in air is given the c is given this is 330 meter per second so speed of sound is 330 meter per second calculate the minimum and maximum frequency received by the receiver so first we have to calculate new max and new mean by the receiver so let us say this is the receiver and this is the source why we have a minimum and maximum frequency because when this source is moving so at one point of time this source has a velocity that is directed towards this line so if i make a tangent from here this is directed so let's just receiver is here directed along this line so this is coming this side at another point of time this source is going away from the observer so receiver so at this point of time this is going away so let us make slightly greater so this is going away now this point of time this is coming towards the source so at this point it will reach here and it will see the maximum frequency when this is going away from the source this time this will have new minimum so this time it will have new maximum now so velocity and now we have to find out new max so very simple if the source is moving the uh, we write new dash is equals to new naught 1 minus b by c if source is moving towards the observer so new naught is given this is 272 has divided by 1 minus v is given 10 meter per second and c is given 330 meter per second so new naught 1 minus b by c uh, one can calculate this value and so let us calculate this value how much you are getting so calculate Okay, if you calculate this will come out to be 280.5 hertz. Now similarly one can calculate, so this is your new max because this time source is coming towards the observer. New minimum will be new naught 1 plus b by c. This is 272 divided by 1 plus 10 divided by 330 and this will come out to be, if you calculate this value, let us calculate. And this will come out to be now this is plus this time it will come out to be 264 hertz so this is the minimum now the b part is slightly 
tweak even so what this b part says at t equals to 0 receiver receives the minimum frequency so he says let us put t equals to 0 here so this is point t is equals to 0 when receiver receives the minimum frequency so start from t equals to 0 now you have to find calculate the minimum value of time when it receives the maximum frequency so we have to find the time when receiver will have maximum frequency this means this observer will come source will come from here to here and then it will reach so we have to find the time required to move from here to here source so this is perpendicular once again this is perpendicular so if this angle is theta I know this angle is going to be theta symmetry says now this is 5 meter this is 3 meter so we can find cos theta 3 by 5 because cos theta is 3 by 5 because this is hypotenuse this is base so cos theta 3 by 5 now if cos theta is 3 by 5 this is around if you remember cos theta 3 by 5 is 50 degree so theta is 53 degree sorry 53 degree and if I convert into radian so 53 is 53 into pi by 180 radian because we need in radian so angle traveled that is 2 pi minus 2 theta this is the angle traveled by the source angle traveled so 2 pi minus 2 theta so time required is <coughs> 2 pi minus 2 theta divided by velocity velocity is u and that is 10 meter per second so 2 into pi minus 2 theta is 53 pi by 180 divided by 10 if you calculate this value will come out to be 127 pi so if you calculate this value 127 pi divided by 300 so this is the time required between one maxima and one minima after this time you will have one maxima and one minima why this is required so minimum time because after some time this source is moving so source is moving this will go again so you will get minimum again maximum minimum so you will have many maximum many minimum so this point so problem is important two three points is important so first point is important when it will hear the maximum because when this velocity will be tangential this means total velocity is along this line then it will be maximum minimum when this velocity is going along this line then it will be minimum now the next important part we have to find using geometry theta because this is a tangent so I can find theta using the geometry these are the two important point and third important point if you are finding theta this angle travel you have to find in radian because you have to uh, Oh sorry this is the not omega this is u so I have to discard divide this by u uh, multiply by r also because this length is angle travel so I have to multiply by r so r is 3 meter so r is 3 meter you calculate this value you will get the same answer because I have written the answer I have not calculated this one you have to do, you have to calculate and if you are not getting the answer let us check where the mistake we have done I think there is no mistake in this case now we have checked so you do this calculation I am leaving for you this calculation I am not doing let us check let us estimate 2 pi minus this is uh, pi by 3 around pi by 3 so 2 pi by 3 so 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3 so this is 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3 so 6 minus so 4 pi by 3 so 4 pi by 3 by 10 so 12 12 12 by 10 1.2 1.2 into 3 so 3.6 so am I getting ah uh, okay so this is 1 by 3 uh, 1 by 3 uh, so 1.6 you calculate this one you will get the answer I think okay thank you